Hello, friendship co-partakers. My name is Casey Ferris. Today we are talking about keyboard shortcuts in Resolve. If you use Resolve for editing, it's important that you learn some keyboard shortcuts. Here's why. Because time is a thing that we can never get back. And so using time wisely is important. And it's also good for working professionally and also good for being able to do things like go to a swimming pool later because the more time you spend editing, the less time you have for bouncing on the diving board. And that's freaking science. So we're gonna go over some top time-saving keyboard shortcuts for editing inside of DaVinci Resolve. And I'm gonna go over them in no particular order because I didn't wanna organize my list. Yeah. So let's start out with a couple of easy ones. First of all, if you hold down control and you hit the plus and minus key, that's gonna zoom in and out of your timeline. That's really important because you don't wanna just be clicking this over and over again and, you know, jacking around. Another thing somewhat related to that is if you hold down Alt, you can just zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. So I'm just rolling up and down on my mouse wheel and it's zooming in to the playhead. I use both of those shortcuts all the time. Moving around in the timeline is super important. Other big thing that saves time is switching out tools. Just switch to B for the blade or A for the arrow or T for the trim tool, but it saves some mileage on your mouse, which believe it or not actually adds up if you're working on a really long project Hitting a couple keyboard shortcuts like this can really speed things up a surprising amount. Another keyboard shortcut that I use all the time, if you want to duplicate a clip, hold down Alt and you can drag it and it will duplicate it. And with a clip selected, let's say I'll bring this over here. If I hit D, that enables and disables the clip. This is really great if you want to maybe keep a shot that you like, but you want to hide it for the moment. It makes it real easy to switch it in and out. That also works really well for multi-camera shoots. If I have one camera on top of the other, if I hit D, I can switch it out and kind of switch it in between the cameras and adjust my cut points really easily without deleting the clips. Another quick one, if there's a place in your edit that you want to pay attention to later, maybe add a reminder, you can hit M and that will add a marker. And if you hit M again, you can bring up the info on the marker and actually write some notes there for yourself. Very convenient, that's something I use a lot. If you have a clip selected, you can hit Control B or control backslash, and that will split the clip into multiple clips right at the playhead. This is great if you're trying to find the exact frame you want to clip it at, very quick and easy. Another thing I like is Shift Z, that zooms all the way out on your timeline, and if you hit Shift Z again, it goes back to pretty much where you were in your zoom. So if I move down here, Shift Z, and I can see everything in Shift Z, I can move back in on my playhead. Another awesome one is if I select in between the clips here, I can hit Control T and that will add a crossfade, which I can then adjust. Just a quick way to add a quick crossfade in between clips. Also, if I have this edit selected and I hit either of the greater than, less than signs, it can nudge this edit left or right. Same thing if I select a clip, I can nudge that left or right. Although it breaks transitions and doesn't really move stuff down, it's kind of dumb. Of course, if I wanted to quickly move it, I could hit T for my trim tool and grab the bottom part and I can slide it back and forth like that. So there you go, there's a relatively random list of some of my favorite time-saving shortcuts for editing in DaVinci Resolve. Hope you guys like this. If you did, make sure to hit like. If you want more post-production videos on editing, color grading, DaVinci Resolve stuff, all the things, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And my name again is Casey Ferris, and I hope that your paths are made straight. See ya.